over the course of shooting this vlog, it's uh, coming to my attention that someone is deliberately trying to take advantage of me. And uh, we're going to sort that out right now. Over the last couple of videos I've noticed uh, editing the footage after that I have a lot less hair on top of my head than I once did. And I mean I don't get a chance to look at my top of my head very often but in uh, this whole time my barber, I've been going to the same place uh, for a long time now and they've been charging me the same price which doesn't really make sense to me. I mean if you have someone do flooring you pay per square foot or if you have someone paint a fence you know you pay per the length of the fence. But uh, these guys have been uh, trying to take advantage of me and I very clearly have a lot less hair than I once did so uh, we're gonna uh, have a stern talk to the uh, to the barber in there and I'll let you know how it goes thank you so as it turns out it's a flat rate she said even if I had half as much hair it would cost me the same amount camera one camera two camera one camera two Camera one, camera two. We actually got a new camera and uh, I think I'm gonna be using it for the rest of the vlog today. It's, um, it's a big difference from the iPhone, but uh, if I got a call before and I was vlogging, it would completely stop the recording. So that was a bit of a problem, but I've also got another big announcement. I've got a puppy, a black lab puppy. He's not actually mine, but um, Corey and Jen, uh, are good friends of ours, uh, went away for the week. So we have Bruin and we're gonna do some training and do some fun stuff, but today, we're gonna see if Bruin likes to swim. Um, it, Deegan didn't love to swim at first. Let's find out if Bruin does. Is it a natural lab thing? Let's find out. I also brought the long line just so that uh, Bruin could have a little bit of uh, that sense of freedom, but if, uh, if I needed to intervene or help him out to be right, then I was able to do that. But let's go for a quick walk. We're gonna go back down to one of the spots we've been to before, not near where I had that hike that went horribly wrong where we had to run past the bees. Well, no, not those bees, but these bees. So we're not gonna go that way, but we're gonna go a little farther up the stream and see if uh, there's enough water, if it's a fun spot for the dogs to, to have a swim. Leave it to a lab puppy to immediately pick up the first stick that he sees and decide to bring it along on the hike. Now I don't know if the spot where we're going to go today has that much water, has enough water for um, Bruin to get in up to his chest, but it'll be a good introduction for him being a young dog, having Deegan there. I actually wore my water shoes as you can hopefully see there. So uh, if I, I need to jump in and help him out or <laughs> get him out, uh, I'm ready to do so. It is safe to say that he officially loves the water and whether uh, Deegan being there was helpful or not, I don't know because he was really committed to going in once he realized that the water was down there. And the other thing that uh, I love to see, especially with a Labrador puppy, is he loves to carry stuff in his mouth, which is really adorable at this age, um, but also could be a pretty functional skill in the future. So the puppies or the dogs and I are going to head back to the house. Uh, everybody needs to sort of dry off and have a bit of a rest and then I think I might do a little bit of training with uh, Bruin after. On a completely unrelated note, I watched the movie The Kingsman last night, and if anybody hasn't seen The Kingsman and thinks, oh, I really want to see The Kingsman, right now is the time you should probably pause the video, go watch The Kingsman, then come back, because this is a bit of a spoiler alert. But in the movie The Kingsman, there, at a pivotal point, the main character is required to injure a dog. I mean, and this is like a real turning point. And it was at that moment that I hated the movie. I couldn't watch anymore. I put in my headphones. I just couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't bear with it. I, I mean, I, it was, it was just awful. I mean, I couldn't believe what they were suggesting the character do, and I disliked the movie. And I don't even, I didn't really pay attention to the end. So, if anybody is a huge Kingsman fan, fan, 
uh, let me know in the comments below and let me know what happens at the end but it made me think of the movie I Am Legend I can't even watch that movie anymore because of the dog and I wondered are there any other movies that I need to be aware of where the dog gets killed I mean I don't I need to know now because if I get halfway into a movie and something like that happens I can't watch the rest and time is a pretty valuable thing but are there any movies that you guys would suggest I don't watch because uh, I, I felt so awful I mean it just completely ruined the movie for me You know, we've uh, heard all sorts of reasons why you should uh, crate train your dog, and this is a pretty good one right now. So we have Bruin in the kitchen. Right now he's in Beeline's crate, but he's so comfortable and relaxed in there. Okay, buddy. Um, it's just such a nice place, uh, place for him to hang out. This is a brand new environment. You know, he's never been in, in our uh, house before. So, you know, it's so nice to be able to just put him in his crates, a place where he can relax and chill out, and certainly a place he can sleep overnight without getting into trouble. So if you're sort of on the fence, like, mm, should I crate train my dog? This is a reason enough. Uh, if you ever got, have to go away and you need to take him to friends or family members or whatever, uh, having a dog that's comfortable in the crate is uh, a great reason to crate train. Okay, so I've come down to the studio uh, where you may have seen us film some videos such as this. People are often concerned about using too much food in their training. They think that if they use a lot of food, the dog will become dependent on it and will only learn to listen when they have treats in their hand. In this video, we're going to talk about the method of luring, and if it's done properly, you can actually work towards not eating any food at all. I'm Kale McCann. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. And what we want to work on today, Bruin's never done, uh, Bruin's done some of the Head Start program uh, at McCann's with Corey and uh, Jen. And today, he missed his first lesson. So what I want to do with him is work on a, one skill, for example. And I've done a little bit of work, you know, walking on a loose leash. But I want to work on the uh, sit and start position with him because uh, he had a big day today with swimming and running around with Deegan and things. So I want to do sort of a, a, you know, a simple exercise that we can work on. And what I want to do is try to get him to the point where he can uh, move into that uh, sit and start position or, or what we're going to call the get in position on a very uh, subtle hand gesture. So you guys are going to see us work through that right now. And he has never, he's never uh, had an opportunity to do that with me. So um, let's see what we can accomplish. Here, bro. Get in. because he's really holding position quite well. Good boy. Okay. So now let's try one with zero food. So I'm gonna put my food back in the bait pouch. Get in. Yes, good boy, he did great. Very good, buddy. That was no food in the hands. That was good. He's really, this dog's really great at um, following a lure. And I know Corey and Jenna probably worked on that quite a lot with him. And he's also great at the sit in position and he's not getting out. Even when I do little distractions, yes, good boy, nice job, buddy. Very good, nice job. Okay. So we're gonna reduce that signal just a little bit and see what happens. Get in. Well, pretty close, we'll try it again. Maybe a little bit more of a signal. Get in. Sit. Yay, good boy, buddy. Way to go, nice job. He did so well, good boy. Yes, good boy. Well, that was fun, and Broom was able to work off of food pretty quickly. Uh, I was even able to like work the um, lure down a little bit, and I was really impressed that he worked so well without a really strong lure. I mean, <laughs> this was, you saw it happen. Uh, that was literally like, three or four minutes worth of uh, luring. So uh, I'm really impressed with him and I'm looking forward to the next couple of days and I hope you guys are too. Um, uh, on that note, I'm gonna uh, shut things down uh, for the vlog for tonight and work on a couple other exercises, maybe give Bruin the rest of his dinner. And uh, I wanna remind you guys to do something awesome with your dog today. Thanks for watching.